Hello and welcome, I'm Maruma. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our suicidal campaign of AI bonuses. So I'm just going to say it now, you guys may have noticed that there's a lot of these videos coming out, and that's because, um, you know, we've got like seven days left until the patch. So we're just going to put a hell out of this campaign. Enjoy E4 in its current form, because as soon as the patch goes live, we're probably going to drop everything and start a new one. So, you know, I just, I'm just having fun. I want to play the hell out of it, and uh, we'll see. This may end up being a, a campaign that we don't complete. Um, unfortunately, but um, we'll see. I mean, there's still a lot of time yet left. The issue is, you know, conquering all of Russia. <laughs> it's a little, little bit maybe of a tall order. I'm not sure. We'll we'll see. But uh, in the meantime, let's just watch Sweden get wrecked. Ha 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 ha. Hey, reclaim on Dorpt. Uh, where's Dorpt? All right, that's cool. I feel I feel sad because we haven't had a a general in such a long time who's like wowed us that uh, that I can get excited about you know no one that I can rename provinces on it's it's, it's saddening Stockholm is uh, going to fall despite Swedish naval superiority I'm hoping that they uh, Hey, no restrictions on foreign merchants is gone. Excellent. Of course, now it'll probably bump up next month and we might have a shot. Um, I'm assuming that was the one causing us to have, like, no trade power modifier. Yeah. Embargoed by Sweden, 4.3%. You, know, you know what? Sweden, you're a loser. And our income went up a ton. And it is not above 60%. Okay. Well, that's fine. Georgia has announced Lithuania as a rival. What? What? Georgia. Jesus, Georgia. What have you been doing? How did I... Aragon. What is going on? This is nuts. This is crazy. I feel like we need to attack someone. I think I just feel like it's that time. More production efficiency. Oh, uh, cool. Okay. Lose one base production in all owned provinces. Jesus. What? Okay, hold on. Protestant hasn't even started yet. A man known for his radical ideas. Like, is what? No, it has. We can't do it. If we want to do the mission, we want to do the achievement. Do we want to do the achievement? Maybe we don't want to do the achievement. Maybe we should just give up on the idea of doing the achievement in the first place and just play as uh, Protestant anyway, because it's better. You know? Then again, you know, we're the Teutonic Order. Crying out loud. We have we have ideas that give papal influence. Don't we? Yeah. So what happens there? You know, like, does that turn into something else? I mean, Protestant is awesome. Don't get me wrong. Losing one base production in all owned provinces is BS. That's that's crap, man. That really sucks. That means in 20... We're going to lose 26 development? Ouch, dude. Alright, let's just do it, and I'm just I'm just not gonna think about it. Ugh. Did we actually lose 26 development? No. At least that hasn't updated. What the hell's up with that tooltip? Did we I don't I don't get it. We didn't lose any development. Was it saying like we'd lose development in all provinces that are Protestant? Maybe? Weird. All right. Well, we have. Looks like the Protestant Union uh, centers have, have already all spawned, and uh, England didn't get one. Neither did Sweden. We've got Protestant in Friesland, Protestant in Aachen, and Protestant in Bohemia. Well, the the Bohemian one is very standard, but wow. Okay. Well, um, we need more docks, as always. Uh, we can build two more ships. I'm gonna just keep building. I want a couple more heavies. Okay, the rival of a rival, fantastic mission. Make Cologne like us, easy to do. Glad to do it. All right, so the achievement's potentially still on if things go well. We want to just tech up. I think we just tech up, right? Let's wait till January. You never know. We might get uh, someone might be really far ahead of us and give us a few more bonuses.
the AI usually techs up in January. That's that's why it makes sense to wait and see what they do. Okay, uh, looks like Stockholm is about to fall. 35% chance. Individual war score. Or not individual, but just the war score is at negative 30. And if they do another treaty with Great Britain, let's see what that would look like for us. First off, I have very little admin points, so we can't take a lot of land. 210 for just Skane. What if we just took Skane and, uh, you know, humiliated him or something? Or we could try to take, like, Bornholm, you know, just for the sake of trying to get continuity. Yeah, it's not probably as min maxi like the the best province to take, but I I just I want it. All right, I'm gonna wait till the end of this month. Looks like Stockholm just fell. We'll temp temporarily stop doing our mission. And I just want to see who would join in a war against you. Austria would help. Bohemia would not because they're 1,200 ducats in debt. Lithuania is already at war, so that. Obviously can't work. But yeah, this would, this would be sufficient. So if it wasn't, if England wasn't involved, I have no fear whatsoever of the navies. And Scotland is a non-factor because my navy would most likely be way stronger than Scotland's navy. <clears throat> Scotland does have four heavies, 29 ships altogether. But at this point, um, I have nine heavies. I have more heavies than Sweden. I have more heavies than Scotland. They're not likely to put them together. We have two more being built. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty strong right now, naval-wise. We also have some more force limit available. Land force limit. And we're obviously at the man bar cap yet again. 18, 4, 18. Um, I'd like to get 20 artillery so that we can we can have two armies that can take down level 2 forts. Sweden, man. I don't know what you were thinking. It was a bad, bad war deck. That was dumb. Because even if, even if the Lithuanian people hadn't broken free they were still going to be in the war like it was just a bad decision it's a horrible decision and he's getting like damn near full occupied who's the war leader again livonians i'm going to give the i'm going to give them military access now they don't want it are you serious if strategic interests i don't need it what are you talking about there's like land over here you want to siege i guess i mean whatever you say boss I do feel like the decision to pick up um, to pick up trade ideas was a good one. It's gonna work out. And we'll build another couple one light ship. We have another dock coming through. Let's just queue up two more now as well. Negative 70 war score. He's definitely going to get his treaties annulled. Like, I'm almost 100% sure. I hope so. I mean, if you were the Livonian Order, I would definitely expect them to do that. Right? I'm not crazy, am I? Speaking of England, it's possible someday they might still be our ally. Which would be nice against Scotland. Like, if we call England in against Sweden... Then, then England takes care of Scotland, who is also the Swedish ally. So we like that. Poland is now the papal controller. Well, good for you. It's not going to work. It's not going to be good enough. Of course, my heavies are mothballed, so it'll take them, you know, six, six, six or seven months to actually be up to full strength for the war. Sweden's gonna die. Sweden's gonna die. I think it's funny. The Iberian wedding has happened. You serious? Aragon was beating the crap out of them, and now Castile has a union over them. <laughs> so they're just going to form Spain again anyway. That event is such BS, man. It's such crap. I mean, I know it's historic, but there should be an option like play through the game uh, without all the historic bullshit so that it can just be a truly random history simulator. All right, we have our second claim, and Sweden will cede. Give core to... Norway. 
Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine provinces released to Norway. They will renounce their claims. They will be forced to give Lith the Livonian over 10% of their income. Sweden will release Sapmi and Novgorod as sovereign states. They did not annul treaties. Damn. Lithuania has now arrived. Now Sweden is a rival. Norway suddenly exists. And uh, this guy up here, I don't think I've ever seen that guy before. Interesting. Well, you know, it would have been fantastic if you could have actually annulled their treaties for me. I'm just saying, that would have been nice. Uh, let's see, who else are your allies? Scotland, Gallery. Is there any way I can get to war with you? I mean, there's always a way to get to war, but yeah, a better way? Gallery. Um... Well, looks like our opportunity here may have not been as good as I thought. Norway currently has no friends. It's a grand republic. President Daniel Sigurdsson. Uh, we already have four to four relations. I'm thinking I might just fabricate, try to... I don't know. Increased coin cost sucks, but... The Hansa is no longer allied to England. Let's update our special interest. I think I'm missing some pop-ups. I don't remember when that changed. So, um, if we declared war on the Hansa... Austria... The Palatinate would not join. I'm not too concerned about Muscovy. I mean, he's, he's pretty strong. Maybe I should be concerned. If Lithuania was in the war, I would have no concerns whatsoever. The Livonian Order, we still have a truce with for a little while. This is, this might be the better way to do it. You know, we declare war on the Livonian Order. And, uh, we do that. Poland has rivaled Lithuania. Awesome. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Ryzen has broke their alliance, okay. Livonian Order is now allied with Norway. Lithuania's rivaled Poland. Excellent. So they've rivaled each other. They'll never be together again. Wonderful. If they've rivaled each other, that means we could definitely call Lithuania in against them. I'd rather not fight Austria, though. So the way we get by that is by declaring war on the Livonians. Again. So we just have to wait. Free stability, of course. So that truce comes up in... 29. Three years. I think we can sit around for three years. We're still catching up on admin tech. It's not a it's not a bad way to spend the time. We're still building docks like all over the place. We're still trying to find provinces that have low autonomy so that we get the most benefit from the docks. <laughs> 55 income is probably a getting up there. Nope, still in third place. France and Ottomans, cheating bastards. You love me. You know, the Bohemian Alliance is definitely the most tentative. Lithuania, what just happened? Why'd you drop at 25? Competing great power, perhaps it was? And we got more naval force limit. Well, a war with the Polish wouldn't be bad. I already have a claim up here. I think we want another one. Again, we're still quite far behind on admin points. Narwa. Got 11 heavies now. And despite that, we have pretty fantastic income. Wow, that's the highest I can get? 76? Separate piece. Yeah, I, yeah, I kind of did piss you off a little bit, didn't I? A little bit. 
New ruler for Sweden, no more Regency Council. We most certainly could afford some better advisors, but I'm really I'm really digging getting all these docks built and like really pumping up naval force limit and uh I just think that's still the way to go. We have nearly um, one of the highest for naval force limits in the game. We're third. Okay, Poland has annexed somebody. France has announced Muscovy's arrival. That is idiotic. That is an idiotic rivalry. You will never go to war with Muscovy. Why? Why would you do this? Shouldn't the AI like try to? Try to maybe pick people that they might actually go to war with. We have max manpower. We have to declare war. So if we declare war on the Livonians, it's still two more years. Damn it. We've already got rid of all of our mercs. There's nothing else to spend manpower on. I can't, like, stockpile the manpower. You know what? I suppose we could break the alliance with Austria. Just declare this. Call everyone in. Beat the crap out of Poland. I have two claims. No, I have a claim on Poland. Just one. But we're still behind times. And I really want to get this next idea done. Because if we get this next thing done, then we'll stop having issues with being ahead of time on military. I'd rather sink the points into an idea, gr into an idea group than a... Uh, than doing development. I'm going to actually build two more heavies. We're going to keep going nuts on heavies. I want to have the most heavies in the whole world. It's going to be so strong, man. England's got 14. I've got 11. That's good. We're getting up there. Berlin, Lindbergh, and Alt. Yeah, Anhalt is kicking ass. It's unusual. I'm really surprised, actually, that Brandenburg is losing to anyone. So, we wait... Um, see, I'm not allied to the Platinum right now, so attacking into the Empire is probably a bad idea. I could I could break the alliance with Austria, um, ally the Platinum, and then declare war on the Hansa, which is really, really good, because it's where our capital node is. We could fabricate a claim on, uh, on these two and just take these two. It'd be an absolutely metric crap ton of aggressive expansion to take 50 development from the Hansa, but... <clears throat> I would want to do it that way. I wouldn't want to just take one province. Let's get our diplomat back and just take a quick look at what this war with the Hansa would look like. We're not going to take the land unless we get an alliance with the Emperor. Alright, so the Platinum would defend them because we don't have a claim. That would not be there. Fight Muscovy. Lithuania won't help. Bohemia won't help. Austria would help. That's the problem. So we could go over the relationship limit for a few years. Call Austria in. Have them help us against this. Take the two provinces. End the war. Dissolve the alliance with Austria. Be back below the relationship limit. The, Aust the alliance with Platinum pre prevents them from getting all pissy. And uh, our aggressive expansion is actually like pretty good. Yeah, it's a zero in, in the Empire, so we could probably take these two provinces. And if not, I suppose I'd be willing to just take Hamburg, but this is worth, obviously, so much. We have to take it. That or the Polish thing. I mean, either way, we've got we've got the Hansa rivaled, so it's, it's a fine way to go. Alright, but either way, it looks like we're sitting here for a year or so, so I guess that's alright. 
I am going to take a break here, though. Thank you for watching, as always. See you again soon.